Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Bondi Blue and I'm back for a little quick video to talk about what happened with Brittany Renner on the Danza Project. And I'm titling this The Self-Destruction of a Pick Me because I think that Brittany Renner is a pick me. I think she is a young woman that gained fame because she was out here promoting having babies with basketball players because they don't wear condoms so that, you know, if you're trying to get a lick real quick off a man girl go ahead and have unprotected sex with a basketball player and you'll get you a baby so she was out here telling the girls how she was living her life at one point okay and I don't think that she actually was with the young man who she had the baby with because he was in college and everybody was acting like you know she had groomed him or molested him or something like that because he's a college student probably around 19 and she is a 20 something year old grown woman that is looking around college basketball teams so that she can find someone to get pregnant by and have them take care of her for the rest of her life that's what it was given it's given basketball wives raised you so she followed Kanye's advice and got PJ Washington while he was young which I believe is nasty and shows that something is wrong with her but I digress because that is not the point of this video. The point of this video is for us to watch her implode on the Danza Project. And just to be clear, the Danza Project has 25,000 subscribers. And most of their content with other rappers does not that good. Just saying. There are some hundred views, some thousand views. But the best content on their channel is with Charleston White. Because whenever you can get someone who is problematic and known for being problematic, you will get views. So they decided to get two of the most problematic people they could find, bring them together and put them on their platform so that they can get more subscribers, get more views, get more money, get more clout. So they're doing it off of Charleston and Britney's back. OK, Charleston, I'm sure, is happy to come on people's podcasts, say crazy shit collect whatever dividends he gets from the situation and move on with his day. But Brittany here, see, Brittany, you're a woman. And the problem is that you can't say problematic things in the same way that a man can say problematic things and get away with it. Because as you see, Charleston White is still able to be on all these different platforms. He's still able to have some semblance of celebrity for whatever reason. I'm not exactly sure. But either way, Brittany Renner is sitting next to him and she's about to be degraded down to just some hope. Now, I don't think that's who this young woman is. I don't. But I do think that because she's a pick me, because she wants to be in these male spaces, because she wants so badly to be picked by some damn man. She keeps putting herself on these podcasts with these manosphere talking points and these ignorant niggas behind the scenes that really, really can't wait to get you drunk and high so that they can take advantage of you in more ways than one. You're setting yourself up for this every single time, Brittany. And we all want you to go and get on your fitness shit, make your money, take care of your son and mind your business. But here you are being an example of why men mistreat women. Cause that's what they're going to do. They're gonna say, look at her, look at her looking crazy. Look at her putting her coochie on Charleston White. She has no self-respect. She doesn't value herself. So that means they can disrespect you. That means that they can devalue you. That's, that, that's basically what's happening here, okay? And I don't know why she continues to put herself around these males. But it's because she's probably a glutton for punishment and doesn't really love or respect herself. So she continues to go on their platform and really, I think, help them get clout and money off of her back. And I'm sure she probably isn't getting much out of it. Either way, let's go ahead and take a look at the video. Terror. You know what that looks like? Okay, also, I want to point out that the Danza Project did not post this live in its entirety. I don't know when it ran, but what I do know is there are two clips that they have put on their YouTube page, and I think they did that purposefully 
um, because they want to drive y'all to come to their page, of course, but also because they don't want y'all to see the full video just yet. Because to me, to promote it as if she's flipping out for no reason is to make her look like some crazy bitch, which is what men love to do. Men love to make women look like crazy bitches that just need to be disregarded, dismissed and thrown into the garbage can so that that man can then do whatever he wants to do to her and get away with it. That's what they do. OK. And she keeps giving them the opportunity to do this. Recently, when she decided to, you know, resurface into the friendly fit bullshit, you know, because that's what the Manosphere talking points are. They want all of the women to be, you know, fit, friendly and easy, you know, easy as, as they can be for it, for these men to take advantage. You know what I'm saying? And the women. They are living in this patriarchal society where they're trying to get their needs met. They're trying to get their resources from you niggas. And because y'all like to hoard resources in this patriarchal society, the girls get the paper how they can get the paper. And Brittany Renner is one of the girls that figured out that she can use her, her attractiveness. She can use her willingness to be a pick me to make her some bread as well as using, you know, her coochie. And as she's discussing, ripping it to have a nine pound baby with PJ Washington and getting twenty five hundred dollars a month for it, which is cute, depending on where you live. It's not enough for y'all to feel like she's some successful gold digger that got away with something because that's really not what's happening. She still seems to be the primary parent for that son based on her Instagram page. But I don't really know the lady life like that. But at the beginning of this clip. She's screaming and hollering and letting them know that she was not just with P.J. Washington because she wanted money. She was with him because she loved him, because she had a nine pound baby that ripped her coochie. And she wants the men here to understand the severity of that situation. The thing about it is it doesn't matter. They're not going to care. They're not going to respect what you went through as a woman almost dying to give birth to a child. They're not going to respect it. Because they don't respect you. And there's nothing you can do to make them respect you except for withdraw. And you're not withdrawing. You're showing up for work. Yeah, you can go A second degree tear. You know what that looks like? I mean, that big. He was, I think it was 8.1.5. That means she had a big baby. Almost nine pounds, right? Another NBA player. Does that matter to you? Does that matter to you? Who had such a motherfucking opinion about me? Wait, Does time that matter? Group. Hold on. Hold yeah, on. No. <laughs> Answer the motherfucking question. No, it didn't initially. No, hell. Okay, I had a second degree tear. That means they sewed me up. Yeah, okay. Uh, right. You know what that means? That means I love that motherfucker. My pussy was fucking split open for him. Right. You understand that? He was almost nine pounds. Big boy. Okay. Gratefully, I had a five pound baby. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. baby was almost nine pounds. Big boy. Okay. Yeah. And that's just what it is. All right. No, I wanted to say that because I think it is important. A lot of people do. What's important? That you do wish well for him. Uh, most, most, most. Here's the thing. Let me to, let me just tell you, you and every one of the motherfuckers that are commenting, she's doing too much. She's she, okay. at the end of the day, this pussy <laughs> had a second degree tear. Do you know what that means? Uh, you just taught us. Ripped. What is it? Ripped. Thank you, Charleston. Ripped open. Ripped. Wait a minute. Yeah, boy had a head like his daddy. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Boy, yeah, boy had a head <laughs> like his daddy. <laughs> All right. Hold on. So a ripped fucking vagina. Let me hold on. Say it again. Say it again. For the people in the back. Let me tell you something. 50 pounds. Do you hear what I'm saying? I bought one 50 pounds. No, she, you gave I me. gained oh. 50 pounds. Oh, oh, shit. Charleston, 50 pounds. That's just somebody I'm just, whatever. It's about money. Let me tell you something. I can't be bought. Hello. That's what that's what all these people in the chat can't seem to understand. They think I can be bought. They think that it's just about money. It's just whatever. It's the highest bidder. I believe in true love. Hello. I heard her say that. But you I know, said we it a hundred fucking times. Huh. Hey, Hello. Hey, listen, now, listen. I don't want to fucking say. Shut the fuck up when a real bitch is talking. Okay. Shut up. Okay. Get Shut the, the fuck up. Take the room. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. So she feels devalued and disrespected in this moment. That's why she's talking about her baby, because they're always using the P.J. Washington thing against her. And she's like, I went through a lot. I almost died. I, you know, was ripped. I gained 50 pounds to have this baby. I loved my baby. You know, I love my baby. And I love the dude that I had the baby by in order to go through all of that for him. But the thing about it is the image that you promoted has them looking at you as if having a baby is some fun thing that you do for a paycheck 
as if any of these niggas can afford <laughs> can afford the child support that you're getting. Like that's the funny part. All of these dusty ass niggas probably couldn't even afford to pay twenty five hundred dollars in child support, but they're upset about it like it's coming out of their pockets. Because yes, <laughs> I'm a real fucking bitch. You hear what I'm saying? Oh. And I care, and I'm a hopeful romantic, but I can't control. At the end of the day, I try to force something that wasn't mine. That wasn't my person, and that's okay. He's sitting over there, motherfucking. Shut the fuck up. Oh, shit. Shut, no. up. shut the fuck up when I'm talking. That's peripheral. Shut up. Peripheral. Seriously, shut the fuck up when I'm talking. Because if you ever felt real love to where you have a motherfucking second degree tear, hello? 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 You don't know what it's fucking like. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I meant to hit this nigga. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me tell you something. Shut the fuck up. Oh, this right here is about to go. Let me tell you something. Okay, okay. Shut up. Okay. I'm fucking talking. Yo, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. I meant to hit that nigga. Because you sitting over here laughing. Okay. Uh, chill, 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 chill. Relax. relax I ain't chilling. Relax, relax. relax. Because at the end of the day, it ain't your pussy. Hey, listen. I hear you. Hey, listen, that's fine. But guess what? You protecting him is what it is. Is it not? Is it not? Is it not? See, it's wrong, nigga. Hey, don't be sitting over there laughing. Let me tell you, I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking to him right here. I ain't talking to him. Then back me in my shit then. Back me in my shit. Apologies, chap. Back me in my shit. So I understand that she hit whatever this dude is in the background by accident, but she literally apologized as soon as she did it. She said, my bad, I meant to hit him. And then she apologized two more times and he's going to continue to talk in the background and have have his moment when at the end of the day, nigga, like you said, you're not a part of this. You're not on the podcast. So you continuing to talk annoyed me. You wanted to have a moment. You wanted to have a moment to dress her down and she gave you the moment. To be clear, the dude in the background is so mad about the water bottle hitting him, even though he's been apologized to more than once. It feels like you're mad already because you don't like her and you don't like her because you can't afford her and you want to fuck her. Most of y'all in this room, regardless to what y'all are talking about, would fuck her if given the opportunity. And you big mad right now, even though she apologized. So you can either remove yourself from the room or as she said, pop her in her shit. And you say, I don't hit women. Okay, then you've been apologized to. What else do you want, nigga? Recognition? Clout? Let me know. That, all right, it's Shady Briggs right here. Chip it out. We're good. We're good. Apologies, Chip. At the end of the day, all right, I don't give a fuck. You're talking about lady. I don't care. At the end of the day, nobody knows what I went through. Nobody knows what I'm going through. So nobody, you, him, 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 whoever the uh, fuck, bro, you don't get to sit here and talk about shit. About drunk ain't nobody drunk bitch about nothing. What's up? What's up? What's up? Jump, jump. No, I ain't talking about nothing. We're I ain't talking about nothing. Right, right, At this point, the other men want him to let it go. Charleston wants him to let it go. And the two hosts keep turning around saying, my bad, son. We sorry. So why are you still talking? Why is he still talking? Because his bitch ass wanted a moment. We family. This is Charleston's people, not mine. She it's Charleston's she people. She no, we family. He said, you all right? I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Chill, 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 chill. Back in my chill. shit day. Back in my shit day. Then shut the fuck up. Chill, 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 chill. Let's reset the rule. Let's reset the rule. It is what it is. Let's reset the rule. It is what it is. Everybody cool, guys. Everybody cool. It is what it is. You don't you don't like Britney Renner. Britney Renner, we fuck with her. She's got music playing. Uh, all, right, all, right, all right, let's relax. Let's reset the room for a second. Nah, don't reset shit. The fuck we on? <laughs> we on the motherfucking project, baby. Motherfucking cop going to the motherfucking building. The field, so. Hey, let me tell you something. I, hey, I don't care what you talking about. I really buy a nigga in here shit. <laughs> no, this is my touch up. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. Don't nobody get tell me shit about shit. All right. Like, Charleston? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. This is the motherfucking real nigga right yes, here. Right. And if I understand him, yes, he understand me, we wouldn't understand each other. So what's up? I'm just yeah, I got a good grip. Yeah, I see. Shit, you from. This is all yeah, embarrassing as fuck. Y'all can you play sports? Yeah, I did. I can tell you. Yeah, I did. Shit. Ma'am. You gotta. <laughs> hey, what's up? What we doing, I'm reading Shut all that everybody. shit. I done got into the comments. Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. While real bitch is talking. I All right, so let's let's why. reset. Get back to what we were talking what about. What are we talking about? We're to, uh, uh, peace, love, health, and wealth. A grade two chair, child, uh, uh, PJ, and and everything that occurred, and you know that you do wish well for him of what everything that went. I always do, cause you know what? I had a baby for him. Okay, so that's where that part ended. But we saw even more 
on Instagram. So let's look at what we saw on Instagram, you guys, since they didn't put up the full, the full interview. You know, moist is one thing, but wet is just another. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't what we shooting for. Yeah, you know what I mean. You hear what? Isn't that Miss 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 May? She's obviously drunk at this point, you guys, and. Y'all see how chopped this is, right? So we went from having that big blow up with her going off on dude off camera and now this moment. And this moment, I believe, because she's a pick me and she feels that she's probably done too much in the moment. She's inebriated. I don't know if she's high or drunk. I don't know. But it's given the only way to now make all of these niggas feel good again is for me to over sexualize for me to bend over for me to show him some ass for me to get on top of charleston that's the only way she can now change the energy in the room from being aggressive and wanting to fight her to probably wanting to fuck her because wanting to fuck her is a safer energy for her than y'all wanting to lay hands and feet on her like the nigga who is waiting for this podcast to be over so he can try to you know intimidate or whatever talking about i don't put my hands on a woman but you out here bitch 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 yeah it's giving different energy than you saying sir so i think she is doing all of this shit that she's about to do because she felt that she fucked up in the previous clip. Yeah. I could be wrong. No, Ms. no Ms. come on, man. please. Come on, man, please. No. And look at him. Please. Please. Look at him. Be kind and respectful. Look at him. To my, to my guest. And, and look, they want it. They want this energy. Where that pig poker at, man? Go ahead. Go ahead and get the pig poker out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ew. Ew. She's out of control. Oh. oh Wait a minute. Now she throwing water and shit. <laughs> she is out of control. She is out of control. And I think she threw the water because she did not like the fact that they were kind of enjoying it. Like you doing it for their enjoyment to switch up the energy. But essentially, it's still creepy, right? As a woman, it's still creepy that they kind of like, you know, wanting you to do this shit on camera. And you don't really want to do this. You out of control of yourself. You high, you drinking, child. Who knows? But look at her. She's going to embarrass herself for more. Oh, that's oh, 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 Wait a minute. Miss Runner. Miss Miss Runner. Miss Runner. All right, chill, 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 chill. There's a lot of equipment in here. Yeah, you... Need to be wet. But is she re like? Is she as responsible as everybody wants her to be? Because y'all, y'all do this as a practice. Get these girls real drunk before you get them on these podcasts, so that they can act the fool for your benefit. The Krishan way is what yeah, I like. Soft stuff. What I miss for behaving. That's that's <laughs> right. for to be. Um... See what I'm saying? And this is this is done. To to like show y'all how yeah I'm gonna put water on y'all shit and then I'm gonna shake my ass and y'all still gonna pay attention to my ass and y'all still gonna want fuck me because she's a pick me. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Landon, the stream is now for just for for fucking yeah, yeah, private. Yeah, put it private. Yeah, 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 yeah. What what did you do to get water poured on you? I'm just being myself, player. Okay. <laughs> Man, fucking soft. Oh. Ma'am, I did nothing but bless you. I called you nothing but ma'am <laughs> and Miss Brenner. All right. <laughs> I left for it. We saw stuff. Yeah, y'all. It is giving embarrassing. It is giving so, so, so deeply embarrassing. But wait a minute, because I want to I want to watch one more clip before I sew this up for y'all. OK, you know, which is the pick me's are out of control. The pick me's are out of control and these podcasts need to be de -miked, Okay. I hated Brittany Renner at first. All right. I, do I, just, I just hated you. I don't know. I just felt like I, I felt I, I, I was unaware. Right. So like most of the people, I'm not huge on trying to learn about people on social media. So you'll see a couple clips go viral at first. So you letting her know that you hated her. You don't know her. You don't look enough into people, but you hated her. Especially early on, I didn't give a shit about like the social media world. Yeah. So you see a couple of viral clips go around about somebody, and you kind of just say that that's the way they are. That's what they are. That's what people say. People say. You know who else I hated at first? Andrew Tate. Okay. Really hated. Right. Um. Because I just that was an era I just didn't really give a shit. It's like I don't got to. Well, you know, he has sex trafficking charges, so you should still not like him. But it sounds like you do now. 
mm. do much research, whatever the other people say is the truth. And then as I started getting more and more into um, learning who, even this, this, this is how I got uh, to not judge you at first because I have in a situation where there was a Britney Renner, there's an Andrew Tate, and then all these other uh, superstar celebrities that are out there, right? So initially, like most people, and this this was superstar celebrities, sir. What community is he from? <laughs> okay, what community is he from? I try to preach to people online. Just wait, do your own research first before you judge based on a clip that was manufactured to make you not like an individual, mm -hmm. right? Like we, I was manufactured at first to not like Andrew Tate when I saw uh, Andrew Tate's clips because he just said like he's this dickhead piece of shit person mm -hmm. and. Uh, Landon sent me a lot of them, and I'm like, ah, yeah, no, he's, he's something else. Not sure about yeah, this. Landon's guy. like, come on, this is my guy. But that's, you know, but, you know but, what that but, is, though. No, call you. Isn't that James funny? This guy was preaching Andrew Tate. Get out of yeah, here. Yeah, please compare Brittany Renner and y'all being mad at her for getting that goofy ass PJ Washington caught up. Be mad at her in the same way that you are upset with Andrew Tate, who allegedly is out here trafficking folks based on what the Google said. Here. I got the, I never delete messages, Landon. They're all in there. But that is the truth. So wait, okay. Let's go back. First yeah. of all, Andrew Tate's awesome. Yes. I met him yes, is, in real life. That's He's right. a perfect gentleman. So what was your reason of hating me? I love really. He's a man. -eater. Man -eater. I, 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 what? How am I a man eater? Well, based on what was viral. The funny part is that she is the pick me that says, oh, he's such a great guy. And then you're still going to sit up here and get mad and lose your shit because you're not being respected or valued. How is that confusing to you? You are literally in the lion's den acting like you're a fucking cheetah. Girl, they're going to eat your ass up every time because you care too much about their validation. Look at you. Everyone on social media. Okay, and what was that? Just because get specific, I don't do generalities. And well, I saw and I what was what, your what, what, reason? What, what, real, what reason? It, real, it was the uh, I don't know if it was PJ at first. I don't know, like there was I can't I wouldn't be able to recall for you. Wait, hate is a strong word, babe. You yeah. sound like you hate me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, then I'm okay. So that's I'm, what I'm saying. I'm so, head, so I start off initially just like, all right, if I hate her, I like this person. So that's, that's what I'm saying. So there had to be something that I said that stood out to you. So that's why I'm asking just, you to recall the specific video. I don't, I don't, so I that, don't. that just means you really wasn't hate, babe. Yeah, it was it was hate, it was hate for me. That's how I felt. Oh, I just feel like you would remember it if it was. No, I don't, I don't. That's what I wanted to say though. That's the thing. So you hated a woman and you can't even really figure out why you hated her, except for the fact that she's a man eater. So when I tell y'all that these niggas are resentful and jealous of women, no matter if they're gay or straight, they are resentful and they hate women because women exude sexual energy. She can do all of this bullshit and then get up there and shake her ass. And one of those, any of those niggas will still fuck her. They're mad about that. As much as they will still want, you know, they want her to be a pick me. They, they want to fuck her. They want access to her. And when they feel like they can't have access to her, but she can have access to any nigga she wants, they hate her for it. That's why. So if you think he likes you now, he doesn't. He still hates you. You know why? Because he hates you for just being you. For being sexually alluring, for being, uh, um, you know, a, a man eater and being able to chop these niggas up. He's mad about that. Now, why would you be mad about that if you don't even know the woman? Because they only want to be able to do that to women. They want to be able to run through women. They want to be able to fuck women and disregard them. But whenever a woman is on that same type of time and that same energy, oh, they fucking hate it. Misogyny. It's misogyny. That's why they hate you, honey. And you just sitting here like these niggas, your friends. Oh, Lord. I think usually how you first find out about Britney Renners and Kevin Samuels. What's the Britney Renners? Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I'm going to have yeah. to stand on something over here. I got you. So but that's my point. The way that majority of the time you guys are introduced to us is through us, meaning the public, the general public, scrolling through social media, for you page, all that, is through inflammatory posts. It's the shit that goes viral. It's the, it's the bad shit. It's the negative. It's only when people tune in and see that Andrew Tate has a message, Kevin Samuels has a message, Brittany Renner has a message, Charles White has a message. Kevin Samuels is also somebody that I hated at first. I won't say what they because won't say. These men are full of shit, and none of these people have messages. None of these people have messages worth listening to. Um, I saw Princella and Charleston White did a whole, you know, review of their interview. I don't know what you think the message is, but there is no message. It is clout. It is clicks and views. It is money. It is taking advantage of weak minded men sitting in their basement apartments, jacking off to women they will never meet in person. 
those men have money and anger to be incited and exploited. That, that's what's going on here. That's it. It ain't no deeper fucking message, sir. Say, uh, they made it seem like you was a woman that used rich and throw them to the dog. Like Man, you, had a baby. Yeah. you know, like you just had a baby by this NBA player. And as soon as you find out, I don't think it was. Uh, so they, uh, that's what really uh, caught my interest uh, and made me look further than what they was painting about you. Right. So they had you painted as this beautiful woman uh, who uses rich men. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's the personification that was out there. Uh, whether it's true or not, whether it's true or not, and and and, and so uh, and we know how much narrative, rich right? you, you know y'all y'all poor were, niggas can't stand know you the who girls who can get the rich the men. Bunker, right? So you got all these guys uh in the locker room, in the weight room, at the barbershop, in the corner, having this discussion about Absolutely. you and your baby daddy, and, and the world paints you as the villain. Before we before you talk about it, I don't know if it was P.J. Washington for me that was that it was initially. I just know that there was viral clips. You were somebody that grew up uh behind that camera for a lot of people, like Brittany Renner spoken about all the time. So people do get the wrong impression. I'm not going to sit here and, and not be one of those, or be one of those people that won't be honest about it. That is the first impression. Social media. Uh, what, what do you, you mean, know what uh, I'm saying? What Social media is that ass. That's see, how it works. You got the, you got the basketball wives. You got the, 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 you know the, the, the hip hop wives. So you got, you got all of these, and then you got you over here standing on your own. And, and, and for the most part, it looked like you won. Mm. Right? So it, it looked like you won. But if people look further, you got your degree. You're an athlete. So it's more to it. But on the front of it, the hood chicks look like you won. The, the pay child support, probably hate Brittany Ritman. The who look like they probably lost or been in a situation yeah. that somebody probably won and they it was because it upsets y'all so much when y'all have to be financially responsible for your children. It is so crazy. And then when we ask if you're so so adamant about not paying child support and not paying for the children that you create, why do you continue to create them? You put the onus back on the women who don't mind raising the children as long as they get your child support. And we know that most of these women ain't getting child support like that. I'm talking about regular women who getting a $140 from a nigga. Yeah. It's not the same thing as these celebrities. Okay. But at the end of the day, you niggas are still angry whether y'all make that money or y'all don't make that money. Whether you got a baby mama or you don't have a baby mama, you still going to get mad because the idea that a woman can get money off of having a baby with you upsets you. And I don't understand why. Considering the system that we live in and the society that tells the girls to find a man to take care of you, find a man to have a child with, to marry, and he will take care of you. It is just now in recent years that the girls have been able to go to school and get some money on their own. It is just now. 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, okay? Not even really the 70s. Let's just keep it a buck. 80s, and then for black girls, come on. 80s, 90s, the 2000s, and we're in the 2020s. 40 years. It's only been 40 years that women have actually been able to employ this so-called, uh, um, what do y'all call it? What do y'all call them? Gold diggers? Women who are just with y'all for money? And I ask these men all the time, do you have a good personality? Do you treat people well? Are you more than your money? Because you're probably not more than your money. You're probably not nice. You're probably an asshole. And you probably think because you have money, you can handle a woman any type of way. And so now that we've given women a little bit of autonomy, really, y'all didn't give it. Women suffrage movement. Women fought for that. You didn't just give it to them. They fought for it. Now you're upset at the women who are still living by this same code that we've been socialized in, which is to find a man, have a baby and be taken care of. When the white girls do it, when the Latina girls do it, nobody's upset about it. But when the black girls do it, everybody's mad. The win-lose situation in their mind, they probably have some sentiments. Are you not aware of, of the caliber? Of the I just like to hear people's, it? I like to hear people's opinions because I myself, I'm sitting right here for the dog to hold. Um, I don't know if it's a dog. So, so, so when you heard, so when you heard me make the comment uh, about sucker, it really wasn't necessarily to the, the father of your child. It was just to the, oh. to the it, it, it was just, it, it was to all the it was to all the man who would look at you and feel some kind of way whether you were trying to win or not. Uh, you didn't lose. Uh, which that's not a win lose situation because a child is involved. But all of us, hold on, let me finish. Right. But all of us that's sitting back on the sideline, on the outside looking in, we all have opinions, and the opinion Absolutely. was you became the villain. Mm. Well, <laughs> were you the villain for a while? Um, I just didn't give a f because at the end of the day, you guys are sit here and talk about winning and losing, and it's as if it was just that simple. Um, it, I'm not, it's not. No, no, let it go, let it go, let it go. I want to hear what you um, 
because the reality is, is that I'm a hopeful romantic. I left my child's father for the 89th time that he's a liar and a cheater. Okay. That's the only reason I left. It's just that simple. But for some reason in the world that we live in today, I am painted as a gold digger, a man eater, all these different things because I chose myself because I didn't want my son to grow up and be an asshole and disrespect women. That's, that's it. Like there's, I wish there was more to this story. I Girl. That's bullshit right there. That's bullshit. You didn't want your son to grow up and be an asshole and treat women like shit. But Andrew Tate's a great guy. And you're sitting here on the Danza Project with fucking Charleston White that just finished screaming about grape juice and women. Girl, what? What are you talking about? It doesn't even make sense. I loved him. I thought that was my guy. I'm the only one who's going to talk bad about him up here. If, if anybody is, it's going to be me. We're not doing that. So it's just, that's just where it's at. Like people, took a narrative and I just didn't give a fuck to clear it up. For what? Because at the end of the day, you guys are sitting here saying, well, I saw these videos, I saw these, you already had your mind made up. And I then, did, absolutely. I was I on your side but you, know, you, but you implied that like, you were saying that, oh, she tricked the sucker. Like, well, you well, called my well, baby out of the No, he's uh, not. We were in a relationship. Well, we, we, you have to understand, we don't have the whole story. We only well, have- Well, then why have a fucking opinion uh, about my- uh, because because we're humans and you guys are considered celebrities at the time when we get the information. So most poor people, most non-famous people sit around all day long with opinions about celebrities. That's, 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 that's all I'm saying. And also, people hate women. Women hate women and men hate women. It doesn't matter if they want to fuck them or not. They hate women. They hate women. It is what it is. The idea that your 26-year-old ass gets into a relationship with an 18-year-old who is an NBA prospect, knowing that he was about to hit big, everybody is seeing you like all of the other basketball bitches that was waiting in line to see who they could, you know, who could trap the basketball player first. But the truth of the matter is, if you wasn't a trick, you couldn't get trapped. But y'all don't want to deal with that. Y'all just want to keep blaming the women instead of looking at these men like, you know, you could easily put a condom on your dick. You could easily not have sex with all of these random women if you don't want to have babies with them. But instead, y'all decide to make women the, the, you know, the problem in that scenario. Fine. But she letting y'all know that wasn't her scenario. She was actually in a relationship with this nigga. She actually wanted to be with him and it didn't work out because he was doing exactly what all of the other niggas was doing. I almost think she got with him young thinking that he wouldn't be as bad as the older guys who were going to demean her, talk down to her and all of that shit. But he's still a basketball player, honey. He still knows that women want him and he can get women and he still wants to get them. So he's going to still cheat and dog your ass out. But you decided to try to make him look like a simp in a moment of being angry with him. And now you can't live it down. That's why as a woman, you always have to be more responsible for yourself in the situation and not think that hurting somebody is more important than your own self-preservation. I'm saying, right? So that's kind of what I'm saying. And I think that's the most important part is... Didn't you hear what I we said? This all, is barbershop right, talk. This, exactly. is, this is beauty shop so nobody, talk. This it, is after the church talk. But this is just after church let me, talk. Let me, let, me, let me get a chance to finish the statement because it's important with this episode specifically. What's that? You are also very hated. Way more than she would ever be. Yeah, I came to be. Right, and, she did. But a lot of people judge you based off of a clip. And we heard Brittany when we first came in here and she was talking about what she saw. Let, right, wait, let me finish. That is what the eye-popping moment is for a well, lot of people to have both of you in the same room. For her, it's her life. For me, it's a character, right? So mm -hmm. I came to be hated. I came to be misunderstood. We're looking at her, at her life. So it's something totally different. You see what I'm saying? I came to get everything that I'm getting. So All peep. the hate. So I signed. So peep, y'all. Peep the fucking game of having a whole podcast about how this woman is hated off of clips, over, over, over clout, over nothing. She's hated about her personal life and her personal decisions. Which nobody should be hated because they decided to have a baby for some stupid nigga and, and the shit didn't go right. Nobody should be hated for that. Charleston should absolutely be hated for promoting grape juicing women, though. But the fact that they would even sit on this podcast and compare the two of them is insane. This woman ain't taking dick from nobody. They giving it to her. It's insane to me. And then what did they do, y'all? What did they do? They still had him on here. And he gets to sit there and look like the calm, the calm, intelligent, you know, eye wandering ass 
malnutrition nigga that he is, he gets to sit there and look like he is in some way, shape or form more composed and better than she is because y'all have spent most of the time talking about how y'all hate this woman because of her personal decisions. And now y'all going to use her for fucking clout so that y'all can get more subscribers and more views to your whack ass podcast. And up, she didn't. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You have somewhat of a scapegoat. So, so this what this what made me dig deeper into her. It's not even that he has a scapegoat because of the the you know it's just the image that he's portraying. It's also because he's a man, and y'all will literally allow for a man to say and do anything, and get away with it, and still promote him. Her, on the other hand, she can't even get pregnant and fall in love with the wrong nigga and then talk shit about it online without y'all putting her in the same fucking boat as a man promoting grape. Insane. When, when Deion Sanders took her to go talk to those college boys. I think I just dove deeper into her because I dove deeper into other individuals and I, I felt like I needed to hear you speak individually. And then when I heard you speak, I'm like, damn, she's actually kind of dope. Yes, she's smart. She's intelligent, but she's not fucking dope. She's just being used like all of the pick me's are used, 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 discarded, abused is what it seemed like to me. But yeah, y'all, you know, that's my thoughts on the self-destruction of a pick me child. You know, for everybody feel who feels like we don't hold women accountable. Oh, we do. Y'all just don't like it. Y'all like to disregard it because a lot of times we be talking about you. Y'all have a good one.